Please sell me a ticket at the list price is on the placard she holds. And with virus cases exploding, I was half tempted. But then we wouldn't make the full 15. And only if you're there for the full 15 can you start to understand how long a time that feels for our men. To keep him doing what he does, the fighter's brain will maintain it was over in a flash. But in all those moments of waiting, plotting, charging, throwing, falling, bleeding, and regretting, not even to mention serving and training, it feels heavy. There's a strain. It's exhausting. And that goes for the support staff too. Hence do the Day 15 corridors and more echo with hearty greetings of great effort, for the full 15 well and truly is. Imagine then how it feels when all that effort and stress results in targets missed. Tohakudu, having led Division 2 on Friday, not even gifted a title playoff. And, in a bashing fashion, sent flying across court with a fizzing forehand. The pain, rather than subside, will be merely subsumed into next month's training. The nearer the end, and the glory, you are, the harder each match seems. The sprightliness of a fortnight ago just isn't there. What remains, weighed down in proportion to pressure. As Koto Shoho found, those weary limbs barely creaking into position. Which paved the way for Yago's Division 2 coronation if he won this bout. His final scheduled bout for Oguruma Stable. But his knees seemed indignant at the demands, and he lost too, triggering the playoff. It's here I take you back two years, to a station square in Chiba, in which this starlet said, <laughs> And since that declaration, He's won Division 2 twice. I was too tense against Nishiki Fuji, Kotoshoho revealed. But against Yago, I focused on the charge and earnestly drove forward. Fourteen months ago, he even beat Mitake Umi on youthful exuberance alone, only to plummet in 2021. The nadir which has changed him so much since that fun bean throwing day. There was also a Division 4 playoff this afternoon, which young Mukai Nagano, pupil of Hakuho, vowed he would totally win. <laughs> and he indeed ensured total destruction of uni graduate Osanae. I get nervous easily, particularly in front of a big crowd, and so narrowed things down to one strategy and went for the blast out, Mukai Nakano said. I now want to push my way to Division 2 this year. We actually first saw him on the channel three years ago, here. To remind you of how far Abby has come, this is the first man he fought on his comeback in March last year. 
who is still not convincing at that level. Abi, on the other hand, survived this highly nervy, topsy-turvy battle to guarantee second place in successive meets. He also scooped an outstanding performance prize, saying, Delighted. I feel I showed you the real me. Opponent Kotonowaka, who netted the Fighting Spirit prize, said, It's tough to fall at the final hurdle, but I will use this feeling as a springboard to try and win more. Finally then, it was time to sum the 15 days up. The collective efforts of two top men and their entire stables brought together for a defining clash. Mitake Umi a point ahead, win for the title, lose for a playoff. And aging male crowd members were so frenzied they needed proper calming down. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Our January 2022 champion is known. Mitake Umi bests exhausted Terano Fuji for his third title at Sekiwake, a sumo record. And of the full 15 days, he said, Mitake also takes the Technique Award, his 10th special prize overall, and perhaps his last. For despite this flag-bearing judge's insistence pre-tournament on 15 wins, 13 are indeed enough to lift him to Ozeki. That's why he's choking up. The first Nagano-born Ozeki since 1795. Good lord. Well, here's that same winner coming home to a rowdy reception tonight. The new hero of Japan's Filipino community. And here is the final act of the event itself. The return of the Dokyo gods to their place in the sky. Featuring Koto Shoho's brother, whose bouts formed a central part of our full 15 coverage. That then is what the full 15 looks like. On the ground, from the start, to the finish. Behind the camera, we've had early starts, late nights, lack of exercise, not much sleep, but all for a good cause. To prove that old school reporting can not only survive, but thrive, even in the age of internet sumo. We can learn so much from old school reporting, and it's vital we continue to do it and fight for it. As these stadium notices fittingly tell us, no thoroughfare, no shortcuts. You have to be there and do the work, just like our top wrestlers. And as NHK legend Mr. Sugiyama writes, for the best coverage, we have to go to the source. That's what I've started doing with this full 15 project and will continue to do. However, as viewing figures have dropped this time, those of you who've expressed a wish to donate, I might now require some of your help. I'm very sorry to ask that and we'll be working round the clock to try and turn the channel's revenues around. Thank you for watching. 
as always.